Hey there, welcome into this new video. If you want to make some uh, printable wall art and sell those using Canva, you are actually in the right place. And I'm going to be showing you just a few tips how you can do this. So first of all, guys, I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description. If you want to check it out, the Canva Pro version, it is totally for free, up to 33 days, the Canva Pro. Uh, I can strongly suggest you guys to use the Canva Pro. Uh, I'm going to be leaving you that link because I'm going to be using just a few uh, tools that it's only available for Canva Pro. First of all, we want to look for wall art, printable art, right? So first of all, we need to see, we need to take a look at where you want to sell that before you create a printable wall art. So in my case, I love to look for um, into, into Etsy.com here into Etsy. I just type here into my search bar printable wall art so what happened here is going to be showing me the most loved it printable wall art right so i just need to scroll a little bit down and as you can see there's a, a giraffe there's this text that says work hard and be nice to people there's uh there's one that it's like a mountain wall art and there's this custom city map print right so depending on what kind of uh let's say the niche you want to based on uh, whether that will be painting painting or you want to make just art by yourself or you just want to do something much more easier like just putting here just some text uh, be creative have a design and make the printable um, file and upload it into Etsy so you can do this into eBay you can do this into Amazon you can do whatever you want to do even if you want to create an online store you can do that I'm just going to be showing you the process of how you can make the printable wall art and then you can just start to sell that by yourselves. So now that you have like an idea of what you can do, speaking about the printable wall art, you want to go into Canva. If you use the link that I just give you down below in the description, it's going to be asking you to sign up. Whether you can choose your Google account, your Facebook account, your Apple account, whatever you want to. Now that you have redeemed your 30 days free trial of Canva Pro, you want to look for a uh, template. So here in the template, it's really easy to use templates of Canva and it's really helpful because we actually, let's say that we are like an amateur um, seller, so we don't know actually what kind of principal wall art are, are going to be sailed into, into Etsy, right? So we want to do something like this right we want to look uh, to have like an aesthetic look we want to use some creamy colors we want to use uh, these markups I mean you can ignore me if you're not gonna be using Etsy but here I'm gonna be focusing here mainly on how it's gonna be looking my my product right so as you can see here are videos and there are so much more sales here so I want to choose templates once again into the search bar I want to tap printable wall arts or just wall arts so here it is you have the family moments photos um, this is a printable art so I can choose let's say the first option and in here I can see more like this some related post so what I want to do before I create my mockup I want to create first of all my Designed. So let's say that I want to start from something like this. I kind of like this colors, right? So I choose this customizer template, and there we're just good to go. Now it's going to be popping up this designed edit section of Canva. So this is just an element. I don't want to use this element because I don't created it, uh, and I just want to focus into text. Remember, as we just saw here into this. Uh, example so I just want to delete this and here I want to choose text so let's say that I want to create uh, some catchy phrases and put that in here you just want to create some make some designs so let's say motivational phrases short so I just use this three uh, keywords so as you can see, let's say that I want to use just something like this. It is never too late to be what you might have been, right? So I just choose this 
and I want to use this Untitled Brand Kit and I just paste that. So we are already half there, as you can see. It was really easy, right? So now what we want to do is to put in here some design into our font, into our phrase, our motivational phrases. So, I mean, I can buy this if I wanted to, but I want to add something like more related into my niche or into my brand or whatever I'm making here. So. I want to choose this font and what I just want to do here is to take a look into all the fonts that are available in Canva and see which one uh, fits me the best, right? Something like this for example, if I don't want to see this, let's say that I want to use this option. As you can see this one is looking great and here is like a crown. This crown means that this is only available for the Canva Pro version. So that's the reason why I just gave you 30 days, um, a free 30 days trial of Canva Pro. So there's no excuse for you guys to don't use uh, all of this tools that are available for us. So just for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to stick around with this, with this font because I don't want to stick around here a lot. All right, so I'm just going to make this a little bit more smaller. So oh, now that I have my text, now that I have my face, now that I have everything correctly, I want to go into my elements and I want to add something that can help my motivational phrase look much more minimalistic or just much more interesting right here. So here into my graphics, let's say that I want to use like a tree. So here I want to put in here element tree here into graphics. And I want to choose something, let's say like this, and I want to hit into the magic recommendations. I want to see all of them. And if I like this tree, I can see other options related into this element that I already selected, right? So I can scroll down and take a look until I finally found something that I liked. So I can add that into my uh, designed, right? So let's say that I kind of like this one or kind of like this one and you can do the same thing th The same process. I mean you can choose this option you can choose this element go into into magic recommendations and Therefore it's gonna be appearing so much more elements, but in my case I just want to stick around with this one So I'm just gonna delete these two elements and now that I have a new element from my from my art and Here I'm just gonna copy paste the same thing. I'm gonna change the orientation move that on the other side so there we go it's really really simple so if you want to change the color of your font you can totally do that i can strongly suggest you guys to use some um brighty color and lastly you want to use share go into download and here you want to input this is the minimum size the 2400 by 3000 right because if this is printable wall art, you want to have a great, a really great resolution. So hit into download and you're actually good to go. Lastly, what I can strongly suggest to you before you input, before you upload your printable wall art into Etsy, I can strongly suggest that you just put here a, uh, a watermark. So in here into elements, let's say that I want to look for Etsy for Etsy logo, or let's say that I, this is my logo, for example, right? So I just put in here my logo designed. I change the transparency like a 30% or 20% something like this. And this is the image that I'm going to be uploading into Etsy.com. When someone buys my my principal wall art, I'm going to be sending to him this uh, principal wall art without the watermark. So this is a way that we can create some printable wall arts. Now it's up to you where you want to sell that and how do you want to sell those. So now you are ready to go guys. So hopefully this was a pretty useful video for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more about this kind of creative stuff into Canva. Thank you so much for watching this video guys and I will see you on the next one.